Hey guys, so I wanted to continue the message. It was a client. So the uh, cards that we just pulled was talking about uh, stopping yourself with the lack of mindset um, that may be preventing you, um, what's keeping you stuck. It's not um, where you've come from or, or your experiences or what you've been through that is stopping you. Or your, it's your mindset. Okay, that's what that, you know. Right. This is a pretty big deck, so. asking spirit oh, I have goosebumps what is the barrier for this amazing soul who's watching this that this may resonate with what's you know the lack of mindset 39 freedom of a soul expression you may be holding back from expressing yourself out of fear of losing or upsetting someone around you number 39 I can't make it up now I know I'm going to post that other video because this card right here goes right along with it I'm all about solutions and healing. So, if you didn't watch the other video, I'm going to do a real quick recap of these damn cards I just had. Three or four of them. Where's that? You focus, you're focusing on your lack of less than and not realizing that you're divine. You're not in alignment. <laughs> Spirit, slow down. When you stop yourself into stepping into your full potential, you have this really great idea. There's something you've really been working on and you're getting ready to put it out there or you're getting ready to speak up in a meeting or whatever this is. And this could be just with yourself. But then there's a thought in your mind that is of a lack and less than mindset that has been taught to you, that has been placed upon you, a blueprint of your life put on you. It's not yours, okay? That is the thought that stops you from being your highest self and your greatest self. For everybody, it's different. Spirit really wants you to really mind your thoughts. You are repeating messages that have been told to you about you. My love, it's not you. Now, if you're some horrible narcissist asshole, then it's you. You're the problem. But I'm not talking to that person. You have a divine mission that you don't even know about yet. It doesn't happen overnight, and it's little pieces here and there. And the first part, Spirit is saying for whoever this is, for you, for your journey, is for you to stop yourself and realize what those messages are that are you're telling yourself that prevents you. It's a fear. There's a, there's a fear mindset, a lack mindset, a less than mindset. That pops in your head right before you're getting ready to do something great and phenomenal. And it stops you every time. And then what happens is that you then say, see, I knew I didn't have it. I knew I, I, knew I couldn't do this. I knew I couldn't you know, make this project. Or I knew I couldn't do this. <laughs> so you're reinforcing the things that were told to you that are true in the first place. Um, that's... Let's see if we can do this real quick. Ah, these are all everywhere. I gotta go. I'm late. Not really. Everything's in divine timing. All right. Uh, these are our messages from our animal spirit. Let's finish the reading off of the message from our animal spirit. What kind of animals can we call on? Divine. Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you, Creator. What kind of animal spirit messages of support? Oh, I got goosebumps. Ooh. Oh, I got goosebumps. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> get all crazy. Spirit's like, slow down, Amory. We've been having this conversation. I just get so excited. I can't help it. It's like my hair stand on my arm. I get this burst of energy and <sighs> spirit talking. I love it. they need to hear and you gotta be kidding me I was just thinking 
your penguin, there's two, penguin, the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. Emu, this is a good time to go on a new adventure. Spirit said this, these animal messages are separate from the last two messages that I gave that were um, together about the lack mindset. This is a separate message, okay? You, it's time for you to get out of your comfort zone. You know, um, it's really interesting. Um, a lot of times when we've spent a lot of time in the darkness doing shadow work, trauma work, wh however you identify the darkness, kind of skittish when we come out because you know we got fresh skin fresh healed skin and um the smallest thing sometimes I'm not saying it affects you but you you're more aware now because here's the thing when you start doing your healing work when you truly dig deep when you truly sage your soul and you you really do the work you just don't you know advertise it and teach it you actually do it you are more aware of the things that you subscribe to that were lower vibration, and it's never a judgment. And that's a lot of uh, things that a lot of people don't talk about is that when you do a lot of healing, the things you used to subscribe to, you just can't anymore. And a lot of people get offended by it. That's, that's their shit. Um, and it doesn't mean that you're better than. And a lot of people perceive it that way. You're just vibrating different. And so this is for someone who's just came out of a lot of work. And you, your skin may be a little sensitive. You're like very hyper aware because you have a new awareness. Because you've healed. You see things differently because of whatever this healing you just got through. This darkness. You have a different perception. A greater perception. A better understanding. Spirit wants you to go on a new adventure. That adventure is going to free that seriousness, all that work you've done, that you've had to go hard in the paint, as I call it, ten toes down in your healing. It's time for you to play. It's time for you to kind of release a little bit. It's scary because you're going into new fresh waters and maybe you've walked away from a lot of things or people or situations and you're kind of like a little, little new little birdie. Go out and have an adventure. There's something that's going to happen. This doesn't have to be a week-long thing. Nobody, you know, a lot of people don't have them. We just, well, some people do, but go on this week-long adventure. This could be just taking a day trip to somewhere you've never gone, a little town. Go to the woods there, or the park, or go visit an antique shop, or, or whatever your thing is. place you've never been. And look at it as an adventure. Wow, new eyes, fresh eyes, healed eyes. I know this sounds crazy. Just trust me. I would never do anything without uh, good intention. All my intentions are always pure from a good place. And so is spirit. Just channeling. Spirit wants you to know. This adventure you go on, whether it's a day trip or a little weekend trip, something else is going to come into play that is going to give you a boost and I don't know why I keep thinking your skin, fresh skin, but it's really going to oil and moisturize your skin. And it's going to add on to this work and healing you've been doing. I hope everybody has a magical day. I hope that you're happy, healthy, full of joy. May you love and be loved.